Hello viewers, welcome to MacTech. I am Amit Sharma. In this video, we are going to solve question from 16 to 21 of chapter 5 from the book Contemporary Abstract Algebra by Joseph Galen. So without a delay, let's start. Question number 16. If alpha is even, prove that alpha inverse is even. If alpha is odd, prove that alpha inverse is odd. In order to solve the question, it is essential to learn the following result. Result. Any permutation of a finite set can be expressed as multiplication of two cycles. It is known as transposition. Since alpha is given permutation, that is alpha can be written as beta 1 beta 2 up to beta n minus 1 into beta n for some positive integer n where beta is two cycle for every i equal to 1 to up to n. Now alpha inverse can be written as inverse of permutation beta 1 beta 2 up to beta n which is further written as beta n inverse into beta n minus 1 inverse up to beta 1 inverse which is further written as beta n into beta n minus 1 up to beta 1 why it is so because each beta i inverse is equal to beta i for i varies from 1 to n because beta i is 2 cycle length that is alpha inverse has the same number of n of 2 cycles with alpha hence if alpha is even then alpha inverse is even and if alpha is odd then alpha inverse is odd question number 17 the set of even permutation in SN form a subgroup of SN. Let AN be the set of all even permutation in SN. Since an even number of two cycles followed by an even number of two cycles gives an even number of two cycles in all. That is, if for alpha 1 comma alpha 2 belongs to AN, we have alpha 1 into alpha 2 belongs to AN. Therefore, by finite step subgroup test, AN is a subgroup of SN. This group is known as alternating group. Question number 18. In SN, let alpha be R cycle, beta is an S cycle and gamma is a T cycle. Complete the following statement. Alpha beta is even if and only if R plus S is dash. Alpha beta gamma is even if and only if R plus S plus T is dash. Given alpha be R cycle, beta is an S cycle and gamma is a T cycle. Statement 1. Alpha beta is even if and only if R plus S is even. Statement number 2. Alpha beta gamma is even if and only if R plus S plus T is odd. Question number 19. Let alpha beta belongs to SN. Prove that alpha beta is even if and only if alpha and beta both are even or both are odd. Given alpha comma beta belongs to SN. Suppose alpha can be written as product on M2 cycles and beta can be written as product of N2 cycles. By mixing these two cycles, we can write alpha beta as a product of m plus n2 cycles which is even when both m and n are even or both m and n are odd. Hence alpha beta is even if and only if alpha and beta both are even or both are odd. Question number 20. Associate an even permutation with number plus 1 and odd permutation with number minus 1. Draw an analogy between the results of multiplying two permutation and the result of multiplying their corresponding number plus 1 or minus 1. Since even permutation is represented by plus 1 and odd permutation is represented by minus 1. Now, when we product plus 1 with plus 1, we get plus 1 means the product of two even permutation is even. When we product with minus 1 with minus 1, it is plus 1 means product of two odd permutation is even. When we product plus 1 with minus 1, it is minus 1 means the product of even and odd permutation is odd. When we product minus 1 with plus 1, it is minus 1, means when we product odd permutation with even permutation, it is odd permutation. Question number 21. Let sigma be the permutation of letter A through Z that takes each letter to 1 directly below it in the display following. Write sigma in the cyclic form where A, B, C up to Z are the letters whose image are H, D, B and so on. Given sigma be the permutation of letter A through Z given by this is the permutation representation. Here A has image H, B has image D, C has image B and so on and Z has image Y. Now we can write it in cyclic form which is A H M P R S means A has image H, H has image M, M has image P, P has image R, R has image S and S has image A and B has image D, D has image G, G has image C and C has image B. E has image J, J has image L, L has image N, N has image F and f has image e i has image i k has image o and o has image k q has image u and u has image q t has image w w has image v and v has image t 
x has image z, z has image y, and y has image x. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you like the content, please do like, share, and subscribe my channel. If you have any query, comment me. Thank you very much.